really appreciate the fact that you were able to stand up. I think I was for a hospital. So, I'll see you in the Today a list came out. The list is called False Teachers to Avoid. So on this list, you'll see, you could Google it and find it on social networking. There's all different brands of religion, all different types of prophetess, prophets, preachers, teachers, of all labels, all religions. And this is put out by an individual who is probably upset that these individuals did not stand with him earlier on in 2020, who himself did close his church for a while, but he's upset with these other people because they closed their churches. In the Gospel is according to St. Luke chapter 9, verse 49, and verses 49 and 50. John comes to Jesus and said, Jesus, we found some people who follow us not, casting out devils in thy name, and we forbade them from doing so. Jesus says, Forbid them not. He that is not against us is for us. Let them alone. Why would you want to forbid someone who's not in your club? Because that's what John was referring to. John, do you really think that it's only going to be you and 11 more with Jesus, 13, do you really think that y'all are the only ones that are going to be granted permission by Jesus to cast out demons and to preach truth and to stand for righteousness? So John says, these individuals casting out demons are not with us, so we forbade them. And Jesus said, forbid them not. They're not against us, so they're for us. Earlier on, the majority of the people that stood with us here at Life Tabernacle Church and you were not all oneness apostolic Pentecostals, Roman Catholics, Jesuits, Mormons, Baptists, you name it, Calvinists, Charismatics, anything you could think of stood with us. He that is not against us is for us. Did not the United States of America join forces with Joseph Stalin in Russia? Who in communism became our ally to defeat Nazism and Adolf Hitler would not have defeated Germany had it not been for the big three, Churchill, Stalin, and Roosevelt, and us joining forces with the Russians. Did not David join forces with the Philistines to defeat others of Israel's armies? He found refuge in Gath. He had already killed Goliath of Gath. Now he finds refuge there because he is running and fleeing from King Saul. And while there, he joins forces with Israel's enemies to defeat, to defeat God's enemies. Because the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Right now, the church is not my enemy. And any church that joins with me, irregardless of what doctrine or religious preference and persuasion thereof, is not my enemy. They are my friend. Because we have a common enemy. And that is godless 
illegal mandates who want to fight our religious and civil liberties and take them from us. And whatever your religious persuasion is, if you'll join with us, we can defeat that enemy. Now, so we should never attack anyone else because they're false teachers or they are different doctrinal persuasions in this fight because we all need one another right now to defeat our common enemy. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Okay? And all religion right now across the world that will stand with us is our friend. And in doing so, we will win like that. Now, as the LTC Global grows, and it's growing now by the thousands globally, people on six out of seven continents hold membership in the LTC Global. As it grows, you have to safeguard until we come to a knowledge of the truth attacking people that don't have your level of doctrinal knowledge as of yet. Because there's all types of beliefs coming into the church right now. All types of backgrounds, all types of pedigrees, all types of doctrinal teachings coming into the church. And as that happens, as St. Paul dealt with it at the church at Corinth, he looks at the Jew and the Gentile and the Jews who had been liberated from their dietary doctrines and the dietary laws. He says to them, stop using your dietary freedom as a stumbling block against those who are weaker in the faith, like the Gentiles. The Gentiles were angry at Paul because as, as their pastor, he says, why are you tolerating these Jews to eat meat that we sacrificed unto idols? And Paul says, number one in 1 Corinthians, uh, he says, there is no such thing in the world as an idol. There's only one God. Jesus is his name. So, he says, number one, you stop using your liberties as a stumbling block to the Gentiles, Jews. And number two, you Gentiles need to toughen up and, and quit being so easily offended because these Jews have been liberated from this dietary law. So, I want you to toughen up. I want you to grow up. I want you to mature. This is, this is what we're going to call the law, uh, lawfulness and expedience. Lawfulness and expedience. Paul says, all things are lawful for me, but not all things are expedient. So it may be lawful for you to attack someone because of their doctrinal belief or where they are in Jesus right now. But is it expedient? Are you going to win them? Or are you going to lose them? Are you going to draw them closer to Jesus or drive them further from Jesus? And right now, we certainly don't need more division in the church. We need unity in the church. And what would it profit me to expose false teachers when they're not my enemy? Nobody's paying attention to them anyway. They've lost their credibility anyhow. But they are looking at us. And we have a platform to reach the world right now. The whole gospel of the whole world. So, lawfulness and expedience. As these global members come in, do not use your lawfulness to offend others who are weak in the faith and immature and not drawn yet from the breast. And those of you that are weak in the faith, do not, do not be a burden 
and do not be a drain on those who are mature. We all have to work together right now. And if we'll work together, we can come together and we can defeat our enemy, the flesh, the world, and the devil. Who, by the way, the devil is working in all aspects right now of religion and politics. So don't use your liberties as a stumbling block to others who are weaker in the faith. He that winneth souls is wise. Take this to heart today and let's win more people for Jesus Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name.